When the Insta360 X4 came out, I did a video about how to upload 360 footage directly to YouTube. But now that we have the DJI Osmo 360, you guys are asking how you do it with that camera. And even though the process from the 360 file to uploading it to YouTube is exactly the same. Obviously, if you're using the DJI Studio, then the process is different because you're not using the Insta360 Studio. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload 360 footage from your DJI Osmo 360. And it's well worth saying that you can't just take that 360 file from the Osmo 360 and upload it to YouTube, you have to convert it first and then you can upload the file. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing that you can do is dump all your clips from the Osmo 360 into the DJI Studio. And what's good about it is that you can preview them, you can move around without having to actually drop anything onto the timeline, and then you can just choose your clips that way. You can choose the one that you want. And it's also worth mentioning that you can actually put multiple clips together so you don't have to just have one 360 clip from one video. If you have taken clips from several if you want to take clips from several videos you can do that and put them together into one 360 video which is what i did in the example video that you'll be able to click on in the description i've put a link to it in the description for you so i'm not going to do a complete deep dive into the dji studio in this video because i want to go through the whole workflow for working with 360 footage when you're exporting it as a flat video file and then putting it into another video that you're working on so that's for a separate video this is just for uploading the 360 video to youtube so once you've chosen the clip or the number of clips that you want to use you can dra then drag those onto the timeline and what i tend to do is cut the beginning and the end off of the video because it's usually where i'm just extending the stick or bringing the stick back in and then hitting record to stop recording and because you're actually doing this as a 360 video you don't actually need to put any keyframes in because it's not going to really register it and people are going to be able to swipe around the screen themselves so it's not like when you're doing you're trying to reframe everything because all you're going to be seeing is the view that you're showing people this is the video where they're going to be able to move their phone around or move swipe their finger around on the screen to see whatever they want to look at so the keyframes are just not necessary so once you've got your clips and you've put them onto the timeline it's literally just a case of going and exporting the video and what you want to make sure is that you choose panoramic video not videos because videos is the flat 2d video that you can't move around it's just what you see whereas the panoramic video is the 360 video if you shoot your 360 footage in 8k make sure that you are exporting that file in 8k because you want the highest possible quality and youtube is going to compress it so as it's compressing it you want the highest quality you can possibly get because when you view it on youtube you will only get a 4k resolution it doesn't go any higher than that so you want to export the 8k and upload the 8k file now you can add noise reduction if you want i'm still kind of playing around with this to see how much of a difference it makes because when i did it with one clip with noise reduction on it looked pretty much the same as it did without the noise reduction on so i just need to have a little bit more of a play with this so i don't know maybe try one with and one without and just see what it looks like but then once you've done that, you just export the video and you will have a 360 file, which is labeled .mp4, but it's still a 360 file. So with uploading it to YouTube, you treat this like any other video. You drag it over to where you create the videos and you upload the videos, you drag it into there and it will do its thing like any other YouTube video. And because of the metadata in the file, it will recognize that it is a 360 video. So once it's uploading, it will again process the video as normal, but because it is such a large, a large file, it will take a little while to process. And this could take even up to 24 hours for it to fully process that 4K file. Even though it says it has done it, you'll go into the video and you'll see that you can only select 1080, for example. So you just have to give it a little bit of time to process that 4K file. But when it's done, you'll be able to view it and move around the screen or move your phone around and it'll show you where things are in relation to where your phone would normally be and yeah it works pretty well so i've dropped a link in the description to the demo video so that you can see exactly what that looks like and if you have any questions drop them in the comments but thanks for watching catch you next time